Hello, welcome back everybody to another video review from the Geek Tech Show. Although it does feel like the end of the world, it is not really the end of the world yet. Not yet anyways. So the year 2000 was supposed to be the end of the world, it is 2020. So we are 20 years too late for the end of the world. So it's not really the end of the world yet. In this video, we're going to be doing a video review of a very nice self-defense weapon you can keep at your place. Now, this is not a very good weapon because it's just a BB gun. But, if you want to scale away an intruder, or, of course, defend yourself in a life or death situation, this is not something you want to actually use. That being said, this is going to be super extremely painful if you do hit somebody with this, and since it's semi-auto, six shots of this is going to be extremely painful. But, the reason you want you want to actually get one of those is not for that it is for practicing target shooting and letting off some stream uh, steam that is and nothing more better than doing it with this gun now this version of it is definitely something you should get there is actually a cheaper version of it as well unfortunately you can't get the good version on Amazon but the cheaper one you can it is much cheaper and it's almost the same thing the big difference between the two, this is more metallic, the other one is not. So this one feels like the real thing. It has the actual um, weight to it too. And it looks a lot more realistic and it feels more realistic because it's more metallic. You can take it out like this. You can put the ammo clip right inside here. It is a blowback weapon, which means every time you actually shoot with this, you will see this snap in and that's why it makes it feel as if it is the real thing, but it's not. There's also an ejection button, where you can take it out, this loads up the actual CO2 cartridge, which makes this not a real gun. Although it is a replica, it's almost 100% like the real deal. And now, one thing about this, I would say when you're actually getting this thing, you're going to really love it. It is beautiful. Markmanship is amazing. It is made in Germany. And it feels and looks like the real deal. This is like a collectibles item. If you, and it's not that easy to own an actual gun in some places. Too much paperwork, liability, and stuff like that. And this is the next best thing to it. It looks also like the real thing too. This is a collector's item by the way. Uh, I don't have fun actually shooting because I, I don't want to win this thing. It's just that cool. But that being said, it's very, very good. And I will be doing later on a video actually target shooting with this. And eventually I'll post it up and show you how good this weapon actually is. But one thing about this, if you do decide to get this specific version, I actually command for you to get first the cheaper version instead. Because if you're actually do getting this to actually shoot with it, there is no reason for you to get the expensive version. The only big difference between them, this has the metallic on the top, and the other one, it's almost all entirely plastic. That's the big difference between these two the cheapo and the expensive water version. What else about this? It is very well balanced. You can feel really good balance in your hand. So when you're going to be using this, this is like the real deal. So this is how a gun actually feels like. And because it is almost a 100% replica from the original handgun, if you compare both of them, you can't almost tell the difference except for the writing right over here this is the way they actually have those writings over here that actually distinguishes an actual BB gun which is a toy versus this is not really a toy but 18 plus that is but comparably speaking it's a toy compared to the actual gun that's something anybody under 18 should ever get so 18 and over and another thing about this is that this one just shoots BBs Oops, that was my mistake. Pellets only, not BBs. Uh, it can't fit BBs at all. It's supposedly a BB gun, 
but it shoots pellets. So they'll, they'll actually call all those guns are classified as BBs, but not all of them shoot BBs. This is one of those that does not actually shoot BBs. It just shoots pellets. What's the difference between those two? Pellets are actually, in some ways, different. They were just balls, and when they hit you, they're more painful, but they can't penetrate you. Uh, pellets, on the other hand, are a little bit small, and they can actually penetrate and so if somebody shoots them ex even accidentally it's somebody or even an animal or something they, they can actually kill them so pellets are a little bit more dangerous than in some ways than BBs but BBs are super painful even more painful than pellets so one of them goes into the skin another one actually hits hits you but it can't go inside so BB cannot go actually inside the skin well uh, I've seen people actually do videos on YouTube and they shot themselves with BBs and it didn't go go in. But it was extremely painful, really painful. So th this one th does not shoot BBs because the magazine is not made for this. It's also not made for hollow point um, pe uh, pebbles. And this one is going to actually show you when you get that they don't actually take those because it supposedly will get jammed here. Now a few words of advice for anybody who has this thing. Don't ever load it up with a CO2 cartridge unless you plan on actually using it. If you plan on using it, load it up. If you're not going to be using it, don't actually put this in because it's just going to deplete the whole CO2 cartridge over time. Uh, second thing is never keep anything inside. I always like to keep this empty. You can have the, the actual thing. You can just load it up. It takes like almost no time for you to load this up, but for safety's sake, keep those things unloaded because you don't need a safe for those, but just for safety's sake, don't load them up. So overall, beautiful, nice looking, pretty accurate, and something you should consider in your own collection and just for target shooting, not a self-defense weapon. Let's go ahead and show you unpacking, unboxing, and how it looks like. This is a video review of the Udemax. And opening this up, you get the actual gun. This is the Woto PK. This is the case it actually comes with. Inside the case, you'll be finding this, the Woto CP99 handgun. It comes with all the instructions that you actually need to get started and use it. It does not come complete. And this specific version is the special edition version of this gun. There was actually a cheaper version of the same exact one. And I'm going to be reviewing the more expensive version of it. What you need in order for you to get started is the following. One, some kind of ammo. And this is the cartridge you actually need. So it is powered by SU2. And this is essential. Every single time you'll be shooting those, after a while, you would need a bunch more of those CO2s right in here. This is a sample of a CO2 cartridge you might actually need. After you're done using it, you will need another one. How many you actually use depending on the different rifles and guns that you'll be actually using it in. So it's very hard to tell right now. That being said, only put this in if you intend to use it right away because it's gonna leak there after a while. Next thing you actually need is the ammo. This is the pellets that it comes with. Some of them can actually shoot pellets and BBs combined. This magazine can only shoot pellets, it cannot shoot BBs, but that's actually a good thing because those that shoot both pellets and BBs tend to actually jam. Next thing you'll be actually doing, loading them up right in here and putting them right inside. It's not very easy to load them up. All you have to do is just to put this in here. What do I mean by not easy? Well like a little bit of a pain just to put this in here it's not much of a deal now you can actually put this in the other way around but it's not going to shoot well 
you can see those things are very small and basically harmless well not really that harmless but they're small they're not actually meant to be as a self-defense weapon this is more like target shooting and enjoying yourself and having fun this is not a self-defense weapon and those things are extremely painful but they also are dangerous too next thing i'm going to be doing is showing you how to load this up and to put this ready to go so this is the cp99 water the gun feels very good in your hand it is lightweight and easy for you to use it also feels very balanced and natural and it looks almost too real the only thing that sets it apart from looking real is those emblems right in here probably for police to know that this is a replica gun but you shouldn't take a chance in more than likelihood they would think this is the real deal so use it as if it is a real firearm and proceed with caution a few other things about this this part is all metal this is plastic high quality now let's go ahead and open this up so we can load it up the first thing you want to do is to open up and load the CO2 cartridge if you have this and you don't have the magazine how to use this and specifically you don't have the actual instructions booklet you'll be at a loss trying to figure out how to get this to open so I'm gonna be showing you right now to open this up we have to do is to pull this trigger right here you're actually going to be pulling it on the bottom pressing it down is the way for you to go right here and let's go and press it down just like that and it ejects it from the side let's go ahead and do this again just like this ejection and then what you're going to be doing is pulling it out so here what you're going to be doing next putting the actual CO2 right inside then you're going to be moving this all the way until you hear a small sound which means it is loaded in and then once you're done with that I'm putting this right back in here loading it up and snapping it right into place as of this moment this gun is going to remain unloaded safety comes first next thing you want to actually do after you next thing you want to actually do after you load this up is to open it from over here and load up the pellets press right here take this make sure this is actually pointing this direction Load up all the pellets, move them right here, make sure you don't use the pointy pellets because they could actually get stuck in this weapon. Load up each and every one of them and putting it in. Once you're done loading it, and we are keeping this unarmed by the way, for demo purposes, just like here, I'm going to be pressing right out and it is ready for us to be actually used now this is how you actually load this up right now this chamber is actually empty and the weapon is empty as well reason for that is quite simple when it's not in use make sure the ammo is out of the weapon so you don't have accidental discharge and nobody gets hurt on the other side is the safety if you actually press this button down and pull it the safety is off actually it's on it's a little bit confusing here now the safety is on you can move this all the way in the red thing means it's actually not working or is it it's actually off it's a little bit confusing here because you can see this 
way it goes all the way in and the red one it doesn't go all the way in so this is with the safety on the reason why it's confusing the red button you would think that now it is the dangerous mode it's actually in the shooting mode but in reality that means the safety is on I know it's a bit confusing but it is quality made in Germany not made in China or any other third world country this would make the best weapons and it has a ball back action which actually means when you're shooting it it moves as if it is the real tail and it shoots so you'll be getting the whole experience as if you're using an actual weapon in fact this is an actual weapon the only difference between this one and an actual handgun is this one takes pellets the real one goes ahead and takes actual bullets this is a replica gun of the real deal so I want to show you a few things about this first off if you're gonna be turning this on make sure you load up this all the way in and it punctures actually the CO2 cartridge also you have to take the safety off otherwise it's not going to be actually shooting and the safety is off with the red right here make sure you load it up and now we had actually three shots fired successfully with this and you have to make sure it's loaded up the right way with this so-called thing in here close it up so it's in stick your stick it in though now let's examine the actual damage from the shot you can see this is just a tin can but it went all the way in and came out from the other side it's pretty accurate See right here, it kind of destroyed part of this can here. And the third one, it came out as well. So, pretty successful shot overall. And it is pretty accurate, I would say. Easy to use. Let's take a look here. See how it files up. This. And shooting it. Mm -hmm.